Hi, this is Jana Sullivan from Sullivan J Photography, and today I'm going to show you how to make masks in Photoshop using a color selection. So let's get to it. This first image was shot by Alex Corton. Most people tend to use the color masking when they need to take out a background or change a color in an image. So we'll show you that first and then we'll go on to a different image using a more complex type of masking. The first thing that you should do is make a copy of this layer. You can use the shortcut key by using the command J or taking your layer and dragging it down to this area at the bottom to make a copy. The next thing you want to do is go on to this quick layer mask right here by clicking on it. And now you have a white mask. A white mask is basically just showing you the image. There's no masking involved because white reveals and black conceals and you'll see that in a little bit. Double click on the mask and you'll see the property panel pop up. Go to the color range area here by clicking on it. Now you can see up at the top it says sample colors and we're going to go ahead and use this instead of just picking out colors but you can if you like if you know there's a specific color you'd like to play with. We're going to sample our colors. Let's move this guy over. Click on the color sample dropper and wherever you click on this image, it's going to take that color and sample it. And here it is telling me the area that I have sampled. Fuzziness means that it will increase the amount of that color and you don't see too much here. Because this is just basically one color and doesn't have a fluctuation, it's not really changing much but you'll see in the other image that it will. Range is important because if you want all of this color to be chosen, then you increase the range. Now you can see, let's bring this over here in front, you can see that white is actually selected, but I want all of the blue to have a selection. So you can go ahead and click on the plus, or you can push your shift key and then hold it down and then drag everywhere that you want the blue. As I'm dragging, look at the color range. It is selecting all of this blue and I'm just holding down my mouse and going over, lift it up, coming over to this side and dragging. And now I have this beautiful mask. If you want to look at it grayscale your mask, you can look at it this way to see in detail what you've picked up so you can really fine tune it. Each image may need a different type of mask to visually see what you're doing. Click on the variety of previews in your image because each one may be better suited for individual compositions. As you can see to the right, this is my mask. If you want to see the mask, click the Alt and Option key and then click on your mask and there it is, you can see. Since I have this mask now, all I have to do is drop in a new background image or a different color if I wanted to change the color. What you want to do next is get off of the mask and click on to the actual image and then you can play. So say if you want to change the color, you can go to Image, Adjustments, and if you want to change it to magenta, scary. <laughs> And say if you want to change it to more of an aqua, you can play with that there. I'm just showing you drastically the things that you can do to change up your image if you want to change your background. What I've done with the image is I've actually put in a background from another photograph that I've taken and added a little bit of creativity to the background. So that was just fun before and this is after. 
So you could do a lot of things by just doing a color mask. It's super easy and very fast to play with. Let's get on to that next photograph that I want to work on that shows you a little bit more details on how I actually use the color mask for my own work. In this image from Jay Arabello, I'm going to show you how to quickly take a color mask and change up different areas in the photograph. In the foreground, these leaves could be brightened up just a little bit. If we use a gradient mask, it just flattens this area out and doesn't give it very much dimension. You could do this and then paint in the mask to fix this area, but to me that just takes too much time. It's just easier to make a color mask with a selection of the colors that you would like to play with. So what I've done is just made a color mask and lighten up different areas of the leaves. The next thing that I want to do is I'll just quickly desaturate or get rid of the vibrance right in this area. It seems a little too powerful for me. So what I can do easily is click on the Alt and Option key and then go to Merge Visible to make a copy of this image. Click on the Quick Mask, double click, and then play with my color range. So let me put the range up a little bit farther. And I'm just looking at this area here to see if this is what I want, my fuzziness, and I'll go ahead and change my range a little bit. And I'll probably just paint out this top, but this looks good right here. I'll push OK. And then I'll go over here to the left, Image Adjustments. Oops, I have to make sure that I'm actually on the image selection. I was on the mask. So you want to make sure you're on the image. Go to Adjustments, and I think I will go ahead and try the Vibrance. And just tone that down. Just Let's go to the extreme real quick so you can see how it looks. Bump it up just a little bit here. And here is the before, and here is the after. I'll push OK, and then I'll just take my opacity of this down and I'll just play with the before and after here, before and after. And I just think it's a little bit more pleasing to the eye. Here is a quick image of mine that I shot in New England. In the foreground, I knew that I could bring up these beautiful rocks using a color mask. Once I had the mask, I created more depth and structure to these rocks. It was a fast and easy way to make my mask and then take it in to a variety of software and plugins. I hope this has helped you. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at SullivanJPhotography.com. Have a great day. Cheers.